Hello, this is Also Awesome, where we eat is awesome, where we eat and we eat and we eat. This is more American candy. We have throwback runts, fruit shaped candy, and I presume they come in these flavours because, yet again, the packaging does not tell us what flavours are actually in the packaging. <laughs> yet again, this happens a lot with the American ones. Um, we have a look at these uh, ingredients, except I think we already know what the ingredients are. It does say it has um, dextrose, maltodextrin, less than 2% malic acid, calcium, corn syrup, carnauba, wax again, natural flavours, colour added, and there's all the colours. So artificial colours, but no artificial flavours. And it says a thoughtful portion is 12 pieces apparently, which is 60 calories. Um, I usually, as, it, as with these American things, a lot of them say no artificial colours and no artificial flavours and all that kind of thing. Um, but they often weigh unhealthy for other reasons, <laughs> even though they are technically lower calorie. So, uh, these are called, oh, I forgot, I forgot to say, I think, these are called runts. Yeah, it's awkward to open. Oh, sweet! <laughs> I'm just going to pour some on the table so you can see this. This is pretty entertaining though, I quite like this. I'm going to use these to keep them on the desk. <laughs> I want to show you. Let's keep them on the table. Look look at this! They come in little shapes. That are like the fruits. I, I, actually, I really like that. I love gimmicks. I really do. And this, and this one's adorable. I really like it. But the proof is in the pudding, so we got to taste them. This one is like a little little heart shaped one with a little bump on the top like an apple and this is presumably apple flavour so let's try it oh it's hard I thought it was a chewy I thought it was a chewy one look like it's not but white stuff on the inside hard powdery stuff on the outside it has a sugar shell So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a mint imperial, but fruit flavoured. Um, that, that apple flavour is really nice. Proper strong, sour apple flavour. My favourite kind of apple flavour. And it dissolves in your mouth as you chew it. Very nice. And it has a sort of natural kind of aftertaste. Now, it's hard to explain. A sort of flowery, natural aftertaste, which I think is going to make this taste very nice. It'll make this taste a lot more like a real banana rather than fake banana. And I've got that powdery aftertaste, which real bananas have. Makes you wonder, though, whether I should crunch this or whether I should whether I should be crunching this or whether I should be sucking this. <laughs> yep, as I thought. Very fresh banana flavour. And that tastes like actual banana, not fake banana flavouring. Which actually works really well with the powdery flavouring. Powdery flowery flavouring. It makes it taste like dried banana. Which is really nice, actually. I don't usually like banana, but that banana flavoured things. But that's really nice. I'll try this grape one. I don't know how the grape one's going to work. Uh, I've got something on my finger. What's that? Anyways. I don't know how the grape one is going to work. Because grapes are mild flavour. All these other ones are rather strongish flavours. So I'm going to have to give this one a try. Mm. There it is. What it gets wet, it gets a little coloured in the middle. You can see. Mmm. 
Oh, I see. Mm. It is grape, but it's like a very strong flavor of grape. Concentrated grape, like grape juice. So that's okay. And we have these heart-shaped ones, which obviously meant to be like strawberries. It's a good taste. Mmm. Mmm, that's really nice. That tastes like fresh strawberry. Not like proper fresh strawberry, but more of a fresh strawberry flavour than most artificial strawberry. Sort of the middle, middle mark of artificial strawberry. And it has like, like a sort of sugar aftertaste. You bite into it and it's for first you have no flavour because it's got the hard shell. You bite into it and get into the middle powder. Then you get a burst of juice, of, of fruit juice flavouring. And then you get um, the powdery sugar taste. So, interesting. I'm going to try this orange one. Orange is usually the decider of the quality. Because usually the orange is either really bad or, or, or okay. Depending on what kind of orange flavouring they use. Whether they use what I call lollipop orange flavouring, which is rubbish and tastes nothing like oranges. Or they use a proper artificial orange flavouring, which tastes more or less like an orange. And they have used proper flavouring. It's not as good as it could have been orange flavour, but it's okay. So if you see these, these here, that's the flavours you get. Purple's grape. Whoops. <laughs> Purple's grape. That's, gr that's um, sour apple. That's banana. That's orange and that's strawberry. Um, everything else, make a smiley face. Everything else, um, there, there is, there is, hey, there is, um, on the packaging. Let me like flip this around. Oh yeah, by the way, there's no actual um, packaging in here. It's just loose. So be careful when you open it. <laughs> As you can see, it's got all the flavours here, except the only one that it doesn't have is this tomato. Except tomato would not work with this, so I don't know why that's even on there. <laughs> but anyways, I rate these. I think they're really good. Oops. I was trying to give him a nose and I messed it up. There we go. He's so got a bit of a lopsided eyeball, but he also has a nice grin, so <laughs> thank you for watching. This is awesome. I'm going to give this a rating of mm, 7 out of 10 because some of the flavours could be better. Um, but I really like the gimmick and I really like the, the, the way it tastes. It's just a shame that these, none of these packagings would properly demonstrate what the candy is. You have to try it before you know whether it's any good. But thank you for watching. This is awesome. See you again next time. Alright. <laughs>